Today on the Suburban Homestead vlog, I'm going to show you about an experiment that we're doing with uh, 55 gallon drums. We're hoping to uh, cut them in half lengthwise and turn them into little troughs that can be laid down you know, on the side, the uh, top open, and grow uh, vegetables and herbs in them. So right now I'm trying to mark a uh, fairly accurate line for where the halfway point is on this barrel so that I can have two uh, fairly good and aesthetically pleasing looking halves that can be laid down and uh, be used as container gardens. As you can see here on uh, these barrels, most of them at least have markings for the uh, amount of water that it can hold, you know, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50 gallons. I'm using that marking, in this case it's only on one side of the barrel, I'm using it on this side of the barrel to mark a good halfway point to divide the barrel into two halves. Now the reason I chose that instead of the seam which goes all the way around the barrel is because the seam has the two bung holes uh, right in the middle of it and I wanted to save the bung holes in case later on at some point we decide to uh, use this for something else where we could uh, cap that off and drain or keep stuff in it so that's why I'm cutting it this way instead of this way okay what I'm doing here is taking my straight edge and make a mark from the two ends through the A's on each of these gallon markings and hopefully that'll be a good way to estimate estimate and mark where I need to cut. Now it's going to be a little bit more difficult when I get over to this other side because there aren't any markings over here. So what I'm going to do Start with the bottom. Run my mark across there. Take my uh, right angle here and try to make a fairly accurate mark there on that side to start with. Probably should let the paint dry before I ruin it. Okay, I've made my line here across this other side now using the line from this end and from this other end, taking my square, using it to uh, draw a square line across to make sure my lines line up with these lines. So hopefully it will be an even cut. So now I'm going to uh, put on my safety gear, eye protection, ear protection, and I'm going to use a circular saw, maybe not the most conventional tool for this, but we're going to give it a shot and see how it works. Okay, I'm, I've put bricks here under the barrel to help hold it, keep it from rolling around, hopefully. So here goes.
the reason I did two sides first was so that I can line up my cuts on the ends because I know I was a little bit off there with the tilt of the blade kind of tilting out. So hopefully when I cut the ends I can line those up a little better. You may have also noticed how the uh, saw was kind of bogging down and seemed like it was kicking a lot. That's because my blade was getting bound up with the uh, plastic. For one, the blade was wanting to curve off and also two, with the, uh, the more you cut, the more uh, vibration there is and separation from the plastic which sometimes will bind up the blade. So that's what that was about. So here we go, we're gonna cut the ends now. And there you have it. So we have our two halves and 55 gallon drum here. Now we're gonna set these on our uh, pad where we have our other containers for hardening like this, put some bricks under them, fill them with dirt and uh, grow some vegetables and herbs in it. Uh, you probably want to uh, wash all the plastic dust out of it from the cutting, maybe take a file or sandpaper and uh, smooth off the edges too so uh, and these these handy 55 gallon drums can be bought off of Craigslist and uh, maybe your local classified ads for five to fifteen dollars a piece and they're very handy for all sorts of things so this is just one use that we're hoping to use these for thanks for joining me here on the suburban homestead blog for another uh, teaching video and uh, chronicling our journey and experimentation in our suburban homestead.